Hello guys, Kadoji here. This time I review another Gundam. This time it's the Wing Gundam, Master Gate Endless Worlds version Katoki, or the Wing Gundam xxxg one w And this suit is actually piloted by Hiro Yui. Although the suit didn't come into the Gundam Wing series because it was too complex to draw. You have to realize all those colors you have to draw and then while moving, so it was a bit too difficult. So they went with the other wing Gundam I showed you two months ago. So yeah, and I, what I really like about this Gundam is of course the really beautiful wings out here. And they can rotate a bit, if you put it like this. And they, they can go backwards, all like this. So you can pose really cool here if you're flying. And it's on a backpack that can move a bit here because it can transform into a plane. So you have to do something with it or move it like this. And then we have the head. Head can go 360 like this. So that's really cool. And under these shoulders, if you pop them a bit up, oh come on. If you can, don't, if you can see it here, there's a mini Gatling gun in it on both uh, shoulders. It's a bit difficult to see. Then the shoulders are a bit loose, so they can go up and down really a lot. Then the arms can rotate all 360, so it's really cool. And you have just uh, some uh, standard hands, like three hands that can move separately and mean uh, as together. Then you have one trigger hand here that can move, and of course the movable thumb of the hand. Then the waist is not really that flexible, just goes this a bit, it's on the ball joint. Then you have the skirts, skirts can go up like this, so it's really high then we have some side skirts here, it can go up like this so up and down then the legs can go all 180 up, so that's really flexible like, oh, come on yes then you have these claws that can go up and down like this, don't actually know what it's for, but Okay, because in the other wing Gundam I uh, showed you had oh, had class also, but that was for the absorption absorption of the really large beam rifle. But I don't think these are for that. So and for and you have the foot and the heel can go all like this. This can go up and down also and for articulation that was it so now i'm gonna go through the weapons so the first weapon i'm gonna show you guys is it's really large beam rifle although i have some issues with it because if you want to hold up straight it uh, it can't really hold the gun can't really hold it so let's equip it and i'll show you so i equipped its large beam rifle and some people had issues with it, with it. I also had that because if you don't pop this blue thing on, on its arm, it's going to be really loose. It's even loose right now. And I saw other people uh, having the same problem with the gun. So I just popped this blue piece, if you can see it here, under the shoulder so it's, it's stuck. So the beam rifle can point uh, forward. But if you don't do that, I'll show you. Here and here it just falls off, so that's pretty a bummer. So you actually have to put the blue thing in under his shoulder. Come on, no, around like no, yeah. I just show you for the rest, it's very loose. And of course, if it's that loose, you can just lay it rest on the ground like oh, come on, like this. So, oh, so that's really a bummer, I think, for the beam rifle. Maybe it's a design uh, error they made, or I don't really know. And the second weapon, of course, every Gundam has that. Uh, beam Saber. 
it's dark green and it's a bit of see-through and it's curved and really like curved beam saber so let's equip it on the gun. Okay I equipped the beam saber and I really like that it's curved because it's really good for posing it just looks more aggressive on the Gundam if you have a curved beam saber and I like really like the color of it it's a uh, dark green so it's really cool and now I'm gonna go to no they're not really weapons but they're ammo slots for on the arms and they're of course for the really large beam saber as you can see it's one two three big ammo slots and these are the same, so we have actually nine ammos. So let's equip these onto the arms. And I have to put back the backpack a bit to make this work. Okay. Then you have to equip this pack here onto the arms. So let's do that. Come on. Like this. Okay, that's one. Now the other arm. So the arm the wings a bit back because in the way. And voila! Two ammo slots equipped. So come on, stay. So it looks really, really uh, cool. It's a bit of a full armor, all weapon kit. And the last thing is its shield which I really really like just a really cool design it's not too big it's not too small it's a bit slender here with sort of a horn on top so let's equip this you have to put this onto the arm so okay let's do that so now I equip the shield onto its arm this uh, holder came here into a hole so it stays equipped and now I'm going to show you what it looks like when all the things are equipped. So I'm going to equip the really large beam cannon rifle. So I equipped everything on it. So I equipped the, the ammo holders with uh, the really large bullet thingies. On the other arm it's the same. Then the shield which looks really cool here. I have to pop it onto the arm around here. Then we have the really large curved beam saber with dark green, which I really like. And we have the really large beam uh, rifle bazooka equipped. I had a bit of trouble equipping it again. So uh, I'm really impressed by this Gundam and I really like the wings also. And well, now I'm going to show you guys how to make it to an aeroplane. So let's go okay now let's make it into a uh, aeroplane so the first things we're gonna do is we rotate the hands about 45 degrees or 90 degrees like this forward then what we're gonna do is pop out the shoulders here it's a mechanism that you can pop them out with here like this we'll do the same for the other shoulder so they're like down then the next thing we're gonna do is the feet we point them down like this and then what we do is we'll go 90 degrees with the feet and then we pop this thing out here the same goes for the other leg and then we put it on again oh not like this then we put this on again so we have it like this and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the beam rifle and the shield I have to pop this thing out of the shield so we're gonna do that then I have to pop this thing back in here Oh, like this. And if I'm not mistaken, I have to equip it like this. So you have the head. Now, well, not the head, but a bit the shield around here. And what we're gonna do then is is the backpack. We have to open it like this. So come on. 
Yes. Oh. Just came loose. One second. Okay. We have to put it around it is. So like here. And then we have to equip a beam rifle onto the condom. Like okay, so let's pop this thing out again, around like this. Then it goes over the head. And then we just like push it in. Oh come on. Yeah, and it's pushed in. Like this. And then we have to equip I think Yes, we have to equip the ammo slots on the hand again. Oh come on. Okay. Like this. And the same goes for the other hand, other arm. Like this. So yeah, and this is it. So like this. It's flying mode or it's aeroplane mode. And of course, if you put the wings a bit like this, it looks very more more impressive. So yeah, if it's airplane mode, it just shoots uh, with its beam uh, cannon, and it look. I think it looks really cool like this. So yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna make some pictures for my. I'm gonna start a blog, so I'm gonna make some pictures uh, for the from this Gundam too. So it's really cool. Well, this was my review of the Wing Gundam Master Grade and World's version Kaitoki. And I really like this model, and again I have to say it, I really love, love the wings on it. So yeah, I hope you like this uh, review. And the next uh, unboxing is going to be the 007 Sword Gundam Master Grade. I showed you when unboxing my Pokemon Schneivy. So yeah, I hope you like this video. And stay tuned for more, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys!